Welcome to section 7, Debugging and Testing. In this section, we're going to see some concepts that will allow us to debug and test our application. In this first video, we're going to check the configuration for debugging in Qt Creator. Let's open Qt Creator and go to Tools and now Options. In here, we can go to Build and Run, and now we can select the Debugger tab. And Qt Creator will generate debuggers when we install a new kit. And as you can see, we have debugger already installed and configured, and we also have two debugger for the two Android kits that we create. So another place where you can find more configuration options is in the debugger option. And here you can find uh, some options that you can use to improve your debugging experience or your debugging task. But what happens in case you don't have a debugger? If you see here in the kit, you can go to desktop. And if you go down, your kids have a debugger, and that is one of the debuggers that was auto generated uh, by Qt Creator. And also, we can check for Android, for example, and you will see that we have a debugger set. But what happens if we are creating a manual kit? Well, if we need to debug, we can go here and we can add a new debugger and we will leave it at new debugger and I will use this debugger as an example and uh, the next thing that we need to do is to search for the debugger so we're going to open in here and we're going to system in our computer and we're going to user and if I don't mistake, we're using to, we're going to be in. And in here, we will find our GDV debugger. So let's search for debugger. Perfect, here it is. Let's check if we need something else. Not everything else is generated or added by git creator perfect and uh, so you might be wondering why should i add a debugger and in fact this will apply for the compilers Qt version and kits in this course we cover linux and android but you could have a project and in other platform where you need to cross compile for example raspberry b banana p beagleboard or another platform in that case you may probably be in the situation where you have to add your kit manually and compile your Qt version in that case you will also need to add the debugger from the cross compile toolchain. So keep it in mind if you are planning to start developing with Qt for other platforms like Biggerboard, Raspberry, or another. 